Sand traps have been around for well over a decade, but they're just not good anymore. And there's really three main issues. First off, it takes way too long to make. Digging out a large hole obviously takes time, and in modern Minecraft, the only way to secure kills is by funneling players with pistons and using a long fall onto dripstone. The next issue is that the trap can only be used running in one direction along the longer side. This is partially due to the time constraint, but it's also because you need a block to break or piston to destroy the main sign holding up all the other signs. Lastly, the trap is hard to build from underneath, meaning you're an open target on surface as you reset the trap after using it the first time. So let's hop into a game of Hoplite, Minecraft's hardest battle royale, and I'll show you how I've overhauled this trap. First of all, when I was on the dragon, I needed to make sure there was a sand biome near the center of the map to set up the trap, and also a village for something you would not quite expect for a trapping game. With those locations confirmed, I found a cave nearby to mine in, and luckily this one had a lush cave biome, so I could get some clay here for trades, but I could also use a river nearby the village for clay too. Then I just had to mine all the iron I could. I used a smelter's pick to smelt some stone. I made a stone cutter and a grindstone, and for this trap I definitely needed two buckets for water, but I didn't have all the iron I wanted, so I just made all the armor I possibly could. But if you know anything about trapping, you might notice that I'm missing one crucial component. And yeah, I had to go find another cave for this because I needed three more iron for a lumberjack axe to collect all the wood for signs and building the trap. Yeah, a little bit of a rookie mistake there. I should not be making that. Then I just collected some food on the way back to the village and I could set up my trades. I used a stone cutter to make stone mason villagers, which I could trade clay for emeralds from. Five stacks of clay is the perfect amount to max out two villagers before they need to restock. And I could use one stone cutter for two villagers if I just hid or in this case killed the villager so I could use it on another one. Then I used the grindstone to set up a blacksmith villager and in this case I'm looking for knockback swords. I came up with this strategy a few months ago of clay trading for knockback swords but apparently the hoplet admins thought it was too OP or something because they made it so that it costs double the emeralds for each knockback sword you trade or any enchanted sword you get from these villagers meaning it nerfs other strategies too, not just trappers. But 32 emeralds is still a good amount to at least secure one knockback sword and in this case, I managed to still afford a second one barely. However, I didn't have enough iron for an anvil, but maybe I could use it later on. With that, the only things I needed to collect on surface still was some wood and water buckets. Now for the trap itself, the first upgrade I have is how I set up the sandfall. If I dig down underneath the sand and place a dripstone block on the bottom side of the sand block by holding right click and left click at the same time with the shovel and the dripstone in my offhand, It'll create this floating sand block which I can attach all my signs to. And with PvP rapidly approaching, I had to make sure to be hidden underground or else I would be for sure dead. After digging out a couple layers of blocks and also placing signs so that people can't water or place blocks to build out of the hole, I can finally show my second upgrade. If I waterlog these slabs, I can make an area where it's harder for my opponents to move and it's also easier for me to use my knockback sword to hit them further into the trap. But I can't take credit for this setup because my friends Parker Gamebrand and Shadow Killer helped me out with this. And in the corner of all this, I had a 2x2 hole where I'd hit my opponents into. I still had to funnel a little bit of this area into a 1x1 hole, but this is still a lot less redstoning and digging than in the previous setup. And this also allows me to use my third upgrade because the enemy is in the corner of the trap and I'm in the trap itself. I can actually drop dripstone from above and kill them that way instead of using dripstone and fall damage combined. I still placed a little bit of dripstone at the bottom of this to deal some damage, but it wasn't meant to kill them. Just had to make sure to place some armor stands in there to stall them while I was dropping dripstone. And that's it. Yo, you just watched me make a trap that I know you've never seen before, so you should probably subscribe to see more insane traps in the future. And you already know what time it is. It's time to get some trap kills. I don't have enough iron in this game. I don't have enough sticks for ladders. This Yo, performance of a lifetime type of game right now, guys. You're about to witness one of the nastiest ladder systems. I'm gonna set it up like this because I can't do it while shifted. Actually, I'm gonna kill somebody by the time I go down there, so it doesn't matter. I'm not gonna even set this up. Yeah, it doesn't matter. I'm just gonna stack up here. I'm gonna exit the nether with no pants on. That's what I'm gonna do. Oh, shit. Wait. Phenomenal. There's more people here. Just get out of here. ZQD is better get cleaned. I just got out of the nether. That guy definitely saw me. I'm just gonna run through the trap spot. Yeah, he saw me. I'm just gonna run there. We're gonna dig down. Um. Please go in the trap. Oh, box man. Please tell me he dies. Gotta try to repair. 
Yeah, knockback two would be really, really good. But knockback one does the trick, guys. I thought someone else was chasing me. Maybe they left me alone or something. Hopefully they didn't see the trap. And I actually managed to repair the whole trap. Wow. Let's go get our loot and see what we got. Oh my God, he broke every armor stand. Get a G head for me. He had a bunch of gold, a bunch of gaps. Um, That's the archer bow, so I don't need that. And there's an anvil for me. Nice. Okay, let's... Definitely make KB2 now so that I can hit them in easier. Oh, he broke this sign too. That was so close to him getting out. He literally had to break two of these stairs and he would have gotten out of there. Oh my god. And why did I not have my sign blocks on me this game? I don't know. Man, what was I doing? Let's make some more armor stands. And I'm not making ladders again because I do not care. Actually, I don't need other sticks again because I use them all on armor stands. I'm just going to gap up to full now. And oh, he has apples for me and webs. I can enchant this diamond sword. We got the slime blocks, grab some arrows. Damn, he had really, really good stuff for me then. Okay, let's enchant this. Enchant my armor. Why was this guy not enchanted, actually? I just realized he had the E table and everything. Maybe he had no levels or something. That's weird. I was also so lucky. He just happened to be here. I don't know. I got feather falling. I don't care. I'm just gonna keep moving. I think we got everything we need. Let's get out of here. Yeah, we're just gonna dig back up again. I don't really care. Okay, let's just play regularly for a little bit. I think I can run my hotbar like this. The guitar time has a lot of kills and then full toasty has a lot of kills too. One of them probably wins me the game and one of them might not win me the game. It might make it a close game. So it's gonna be fun. I'm gonna need to pick up a good sword off of somebody. Is that full toasty? I think it is. Okay, I need to kill his ravager. He's gonna fight me right over the trap too. This is perfect. I can bait it from either side too. So I can be over here and bait the trap oh he's gotten the glitch let's go he needs to hop off to fix that why is he running from me do i really need the skill he definitely is the most that guy in the game come on ravager just die man <laughs> he's trying to bow hop off the ravager he doesn't know how to fix the glitch i think he just did it i'm gonna try to back up while i'm doing this Oh my god, his bow hurts so much. Stop strafing, man. Got it, I need a gap one more time. Okay, I'm just running. Oh my god. Running to the trap. Got him. Come in, please. Come in. Come on. Got him. Let's go. I'm praying I win this game, man. Actually, I don't care if someone jumps me down here. I'm so stacked now. Oh my god, I was panicking so hard. I was literally shaking trying to hit him into the trap because I was so scared I was going to lose the game right there that's why the signs are on the edge but not in the middle so it's easier for me to hit them in but if they're on the edge they can't block up he couldn't block up that one last spot to try to clutch up the trap oh my god man i don't need this stuff actually fuck it i'm trapping someone else you know what i'm feeling good maybe i trap someone else guys low key short four diamond beehive insta health but oh my god this guy was dude i'm full diamond now this armor is really, really good. Oh my god. I might trap someone else this game, so I'm gonna reset everything. But I'll reset from the top of the trap. I don't need to hide while resetting. I can obviously defend myself pretty uh, pretty conveniently this game, I would say. I cannot believe I clutched up from most scuff start I've had to any trapping game in a long time to this, man. Peekaboo indeed, man. <laughs> he was not ready for that shit. Dude, it'd be so good if I managed to clutch another trap kill this game. That would just be a cherry on top of everything, man. I'm feeling it. I'm feeling someone pulls up in the next minute and just decides to get trapped. All right, one minute left before death match. Let's find a guy. It's gonna be a little too long to repair the trap. I don't think I'm gonna find anyone. All right, I think I'm just gonna organize for death match. But from on top of the trap with my pants off. Maybe somebody will pull up on a horse to get trapped, man. I, I don't know why I even reset the trap. Let's be real. There was no way I'm getting a kill, but you know, you can hope sometimes. I think I'm gonna pop the Ravager horn and run mid right now. Let's go Ravager, let's go to mid. All right, let's scout out the arena. I don't want to get overconfident here. I'm gonna try to see if it's anyone with diamond armor ball lit up mid. I don't think so. So I think it's going to be a nice adventure, a nice breeze to get this dub right now. So let's get some kills. Let's have some fun. Let's try to pull some kills. Actually, this guy's got, you know, somebody's got some time pieces. So let's get his ass first. All right, Ravager plus <laughs> bees. Yeah, this guy's having a fun time right now. He's swinging at the Ravager, but his health is getting swung at too. Oh my God. Ravager, break the leaves. What are you doing? Let's get him. 
Oh, we just dropped. Okay, I'm just gonna get kills now since everybody else is iron. Let's get some kills. Two kills entering deathmatch. These guys have pants. Oh, I can't hit them with the Ravager. Oh, wait, what? Pin them now. Oh, they're just cross teaming. That's cool. I'm gonna be everybody. Get some poisons. Can I gap up here? There's another stack guy. Oh my god, I, I underestimated my opponents, guys. Fuck, there's actually a fully stack guy. Why are you gapping there? <laughs> Okay, I thought I could kill this guy, but I'm gonna get him first before getting the irons, because I don't want to throw this game. I'm gonna pop speed and go in. Got the Guardian Cannon. Don't want to get hit by that. He's gonna try to mace me. Wait, there's a full three team in Deathmatch. I shouldn't have drank that speed pot. Okay, I'll shoot this guy off. All right, beast, let's get him. Let's get the full diamond first. Rolled out. I think I blocked his water. That was his last gap. I'm gonna be high real quick. I think if I web him, he's dead. I don't think he has any water. No, he doesn't. He's another one. There's more gaps. What? No way, he just ran through the guy who's lower- Oh, he's higher in health. Oh my god, what is going on, man? Oh yeah, this is bad. I thought that was his last cap too, oh, and it wasn't. Okay, I'm gonna have to play smarter then. Damn, bro. Got stacked. Mm. Oh, oh my god, two hearts. No way. Oh my god, my internet went out. Holy shit, holy shit. Holy shit. I'm back. I'm back. I'm not losing this game anymore. Oh my god. Oh my fucking god. No way. Wait, the three team's not three teaming anymore. Oh my god. 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 No way. I came back. We are not losing this game anymore, guys. Let's get this dub. I can find another Ravager. This guy is so high in health, man. I think I saw his hand after that gap, though. Please get him. Okay, I just found another Ravager, shouldn't I? Got my Ravager one out. Let's get a Ravager out. Um, wh where's my Ravager? You can't get off of it? Oh my god. Okay, this is a lot closer than I think now. There's a 10. I should drop him. Got him. Lag. What the hell? Oh. Go bees. Thank you for hitting him. Gap up a little bit again. Poison him, B. Nice, I got him. Okay, he's out of healing. Thank god, man. Oh my god. I dropped the Ravager point, but let me try this. Right click for two seconds. Okay. Oh, you can't let go of it. Oh, I'll just kind of chill and try to use this guardian cannon on him. I really want to try it out. It's a new item this season. Okay, right, come on, three seconds. And here we go. Bro, I just did like half his health, what? That's so OP. All right, and GG guys. Let's go, no way I came back on two hearts and one. Let's go. Yo, GG's guys.